Hey there and welcome back to the channel. In this video I want to show you how you can build your own portfolio website for example for your resume or for your work as an artist or as a photographer and we will go through this step by step so you can follow along. But before we start really important you will find the link to Wix down in the description of this video and this is a partner link so you can start for free and in the same time you supporting me and my channel. So I'm very grateful for this if you're using my link. Thank you a lot and yeah in order to start just click on it and it will bring you to this page. Here you can just type in your email address and start your free trial now. And once you have done that, you will land on this screen and Wix is quite advanced with its AI features. So you can start chatting with the AI and telling it all about your portfolio idea. And then Wix will go ahead and put all the informations together. But there's also another way you can just skip this step and then tell Wix that you want to have a portfolio website and this will bring you to the templates which I do like a little bit more at this point in time because the existing templates of Wix are proven to work that's why I at this moment in time I like them a little bit better. Um, yeah once you've done that once you skip the AI part you will land inside the dashboard and here you can this is basically the back end of your page you have the settings here of your website at the bottom you have your analytics like how many people get to your site and you have your inbox of your messages but for for now, let's take a look at the templates for your portfolio website. So we skip this part here for now and click on design site. And here we can go back to the AI if we want to have our site set up with the AI. But as I said, I like the templates. Then I click on pick a template and this will bring us to this page. And here you have different templates for businesses, for online stores, but also for the creative niche. And here we have the portfolio website templates for our portfolios, for our CVs, and for if you're a photographer, for your photography, for your design, or if you're a DJ for your music or for your creative arts. So you can really get creative with the templates. They do have a lot of templates. Let's click on basic portfolio and see what they have. So you can always go on view. And for example, this one is pretty cool. It has a video in the background and it shows the projects of an artist here. And yeah, this is the quality you will get when you choose Wix. And it's also mobile optimized, which I think is fantastic uh, because nowadays most of the traffic is from mobile. Let's go back to the templates and now we can choose one. So I will go through and see what I want. I'm for example, uh, let's say I'm an actor, like an acting resume. Uh, I do like this a lot because it's very clean. You have the name on the left side and a picture of the actor on the right side and an about me section and some yeah, video sample here. So I do like the template a lot. Then I can simply click on edit site and this will bring me to the editor of Wix. It takes a few seconds to load. And the first thing it will prompt me again with the AI content generator. So you can go ahead and type in your story. I keep it short. I'm Julian and I'm an actor for Hollywood action movies and I speak English and German. And you can give it a name. Let's say Julian Weber, which is my name, and then generate website text. And now it will go ahead and generate me some texts for my website. But we of course can go in and edit those later. Yeah, but as you see, it already changed the name here, which is pretty cool. So here's, hey, I'm Julian Weber. Um, you can, of course, change the style of the text. You have here the font style. You can have the, uh, change the font size, make it bigger or smaller. You can give it a different color if you like to change this up a little bit and have some effects and so on. So this is quite customizable, but I would recommend you staying close to the template because you don't want to change every font and every font size. Here, a professional designer from Wix really uh, worked on this. So it looks good on every device and on every screen. So I wouldn't change too much about the design. If you want to change something in total, for example, the brand colors here, you can go to the design settings. And here you have the color theme of your template. And if you say, I'm really not a green guy, then you can go ahead and change the color. You have hex color code, RGB and HSB codes. These are just different color codes for the color scheme of your template. Just Go ahead and change it. You can change it to, uh, let's say, the dark red. And then this will change on your entire site because it will take the colors from this global design theme. And of course, same goes with the text. If you do want to have a more classic font, for example, this one, which I wouldn't recommend, <laughs> but you can go ahead and change this too. Yeah, I don't want to have this actually, so I can always undo the changes. So it goes back to the green and gives me back my old font. But just 
to let you know these are the global design settings and you can, you you do want to use those if you want to change the colors and uh, on all your pages um so let's go back so we have hey i'm julian weber acting code for hollywood action movies if you want to add more text you can of course go in and type some more text in here and the good part is wix is a full drag and drop website editor so you can really drag this around and make it your own so you already know how to change the colors how to change the font type in different paragraphs and now we want to change this image to your own so you can click on change background image and you either can um, create an ai image upload a video or just a simple image so i will upload my own media Make sure the image is not too big so the page loading time is not compromised. Yeah, now I have my own image here. So the top of the page is already customized to my to my own portfolio. And now I can go ahead and tell my own story here in the about section. And yeah, you also have AI tools for that. So it will help you generate some text. I also recommend you using ChatGTP for that so you can really get creative with the text and just edit the text. And again, here's a video. You can just click on it, manage video. And Wix either allows you to upload your own videos or you can link a YouTube video. Here, this part is to upload your own videos or you can simply paste the URL from YouTube, Facebook or Vimeo, for example. Yeah, you would now go ahead and upload all your stuff. Of course, upload your images. We had this already. And this would be your one page uh, homepage. But of course, if you want more than one page, you can go ahead and just click on pages and then you can add one menu item, uh, a new page, for example, in this case. And Wix gives you a lot of templates here so you can have services you can have your different projects so if you have a different movie for example you want to tell about or if you're an architect you can have your different architect projects but let's say i want to tell my story a little bit so the profile so i can add the page about me click done and now i want to have it in my website menu which is over here so i want don't want to have it in my first space here so i can put it a little bit down so it's on the second space so and here you can always go back to the home page and there we have our about me page and then i can go back to the about me page and of course edit this again and tell my full story upload my image again link my social profiles have my full blown story here so people can go ahead and see this and back on the home page, uh, we can now link the button to this page. For example, view full portfolio. Then you go on link and then on page. And now we can choose the about me page. And if someone now clicks on the button, it will land on the about me page. Yeah, this is the desktop version. Of course, you will have a mobile version and Wix automatically optimizes the template for us. So this already looks pretty good. I think here it's a little bit too much of green so I can customize it a little bit and go back to the desktop version. So make sure it looks good on mobile and yeah, just edit all your content. And now we can click publish and Wix will automatically publish our site under a dummy domain. For example, this is Julian's homepage .wixsite.com and you can change this part and this part. I have other videos for that, but this part will stay. So if you don't want to have this and you do want to have a professional website, at this point you would need to upgrade. So you can click on connect your own domain and then type in the domain you want and then it will bring you to the plans of Wix. And here I would recommend for a portfolio website, the light plan, because it gives you already two collaborators and two GB. So you pretty much have everything you need. You also get a free domain for one year, but only if you want to accept payments on your page, you would need to upgrade to the core plan because this gives you a basic e-commerce functionality. Decide if you want it, you can have yeah, payments for bookings or something, but I don't think that you need this in a portfolio scenario. So you're really good on the light plan and then just select this plan and then you can choose the length of the plan. And then the next step, you can just purchase the plan with a credit card or PayPal. And after that, Wix will register the domain for you. This can take up to 24 hours, but once it's done, you will have your own working portfolio website under your own domain. And you can always go back and edit something, upload new projects. Yeah, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're down there, don't forget to use the link. It will give you a free trial and you can start using Wix for free. And uh, if you need more information, I do have a long video on Wix on my channel and see you in the next video. Goodbye.